Right guys, summer's here in the UK, usually my favourite day of the year, so let's have a look at getting this Aerotherm Plus setup on cooling. So this will be a complete guide now for fitting and installing the cooling resistor and the setup on the controls also. Let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to do is need to switch off the heat pump at the rotary isolator. Like so. And then the control. So once you've located your control switch, switch that off as well. So this video is designed for qualified, competent people only, realistically. So once you're all switched off and powered down, you need to grab your T20 Torx screwdriver and start taking the lid off. So as you can see, there's a screw this side and there's a screw the other side, which is a Torx T20. Let's get that removed and the lid off. Now that we've got the lid off, we need to undo these two screws by here to remove the front cover. Now that the screws are off, grab the top, you should just lift up, like so, exposing all the insides. So what we need to do is lay the case down, and it's underneath this black panel here, which should just pop off by here with two clips. Now let me grab that off now and I'll show you what's inside. So we need to remove the cover off, and we can see that it goes right in this little slot by here. So you need to grab your cooling resistor, there's a part number on it there and just literally slot it straight in there, like so. Now you need to button up the covers. Cover on. So now that our covers are back on, and our cooling resistor is fitted. Now we can switch on the rotary isolator and the control and start setting it back up. Okay, now our control's loaded back up. We need to simultaneously press the top two buttons. Scroll down till we get to installer level. Select. Keep pressing the plus until we get to number 17. Okay, now we need to scroll down to configuration. Keep going down till we get to cooling. Cooling technology, select, you need to change this to yes. Active cooling. Now we need to exit back out pressing this button here. Let's go to the sensor comfort now. Okay, so now we've set up the control outside. Now we need to set up the sensor comfort so it knows it can start cooling. So we need to press the menu buttons, down to settings, installer level, tick, Installation configuration into installation. Automatic cooling activated. And we go down cooling at temperature. So that's the outside temperature it'll start cooling at. We need to go down and change ESCO to heat pump and backup heater off. Back out of that menu. And we need to go down to circuit one. Now we need to change cooling possible to yes. Back out of this. So inside, oh sorry, inside circuit one, you want minimum target flow for cooling. So you can change this to what you want. Valent recommend about 12 degrees C, I think it is. Mine's set at 10 for now. Back out of these, out of that one. Now we need to go up into control into heating or yours might be called zone one and the cooling option has now appeared so we need to go in here mode manual and now cooling is now activated and it should come on very soon side temp 15 degrees c in here we're looking for so cooling works particularly well with fan coils or through mbhr not so great with radiators as it will condensate a lot but it does work with underfloor heating as well so back at the VWZ AI control, we can see we've got the little frost symbol there indicating what cooling mode's active. We simultaneously press the top two buttons, go down to live monitor. We can now see that it should say active cooling. Cooling compressor active, brilliant. And now our heat pump is blowing out warm air instead of cold air. Okay, so we've been running for about 10, 15 minutes now. Let's have a look and see what's going on. It's a live monitor. 
cooling is still active. The water pressure, obviously that's dropped at the moment because it's cooling, not heating. Target flow temperature, 10 degrees C. Actual flow temperature, 12.1. That's not too bad. Not a bad result so far then, is it? And that's it. That's how we set up cooling on the Valent Aerotherm Plus S or C pump. Hope you found this video useful. Catch you later.